everyone you're watching radio fixes in this video i'm going to talk about how to fix if the printer is paused or cannot resume it in windows machine if your printer shows as paused and you cannot resume it in windows 11 there are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved now the first step to resolve this issue is to go ahead and unpause the printer in printer queue to do this you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you're on the settings, you will have to go ahead and click on Bluetooth and devices. And then on the right hand side, you will see an options for printers and scanners. Click on it. You will have to select the printer from the list. For the demonstration purpose, I will choose the virtual printer. And then click on open printer queue. Click on it. In this window, you will have to click on the ellipsis right next to the printer name in case if you see a printer jobs here you will have to click on the three ellipses and then choose the option which says resume all and then check if your issue has been resolved in case if it resolves well and good in spite of clicking on resume all and if you're still not able to print then you may go ahead and click on cancel all so basically what you're trying to do here is you're going to cancel all the print jobs once this is done you may close this window and then try to print a document and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good. You don't need to try the next method. Now the next method to resolve this issue is to go ahead and run the printer troubleshooter. To do this, you will have to open command prompt on your computer. So you can go to the search window and in the search window, you may go ahead and type command. You will see the best match for the command prompt. You will have to do a right click and then click on run as administrator. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Once you have the command prompt open, you will have to type the command msdt.exe space forward slash id space printer diagnostic. I will also mention this command in the video description. You can copy the command and paste it here. Once you have this command, you will have to hit enter to execute the command and that should run the printer troubleshooter. Click on advanced and check the box which says apply repairs automatically. And then click on next. What this will do is this will try to detect the problem and try to fix the problem by itself. In case if there are any issues, it will try to fix the problem. So here you may go and click on apply this fix so that the printer diagnostic can rectify the problem. Once this is done, you may click on close, close this window and then try to print the document and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next method. Now the next method to resolve this issue is to go ahead and restart the print spooler services. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on run. And in the run window, you may go ahead and type services.msc and then click on OK. This should open the services window. Once you have the services window, locate for print spooler. It would be in alphabetical order. You may select print spooler and then do a right click and then click on restart. Wait until the restart is complete. Once this is done, you may go ahead and try to print the document and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good. You don't need to try the next method. If the problem persists, you can go back to the services window and then locate for print spooler once you locate print spooler you can do a right click and then click on stop so basically what you're doing here is you're trying to stop the print spooler services once you have stopped the print spooler you will have to open the file explorer so you can do a right click and then on the start button and then click on file explorer this should open the file explorer on your computer once you're on the file explorer click on the c drive or you click on this PC and then navigate to your C drive, your local drive. Once you're on the C drive, you will have to locate for Windows. You can click on Windows folder. Once you open Windows folder, locate for System32. It would be in alphabetical order. Double click on System32. Under System32, you will have to locate for Spool. Double click on Spool and then locate for Printers. Now, in case if there are any files inside this location, you may go ahead and delete those files. Once you have deleted those files, you can close this window, go back to the print spooler service and then click on start. So what you have done here is you have stopped the print spooler services and deleted some of the 
printer spooler files from the computer which might have caused the problem once this is done you may close this window and then try to print the document and check if your issue has been resolved now in spite of trying all this step and if you are still facing a problem the next step is to go ahead and check the printer buttons or display some printers have a physical pause button or a status alert on the printer's display panel press the pause button or clear the panel error if needed if none of these methods work restart your computer and ensure your printer is properly powered on and connected now all this step should definitely fix the problem in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem i would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with the possible solution i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day